a couple people get on here because I know this is something that a lot of you guys don't want to miss. Um, let's study cardiac. I'm going to show you how you can use nursing.com to study cardiac. Um, if you're in cardiac, you can use this for anything, but we're just going to specify cardiac today. But with anything that you're studying, you can use the same kind of technique um, for any class. Uh, before I get started, though, and as everybody's coming in, uh, from today until um, Thursday this week, if you start a new nursing.com trial, you actually will be able to receive um, a free nursing mnemonics book. It is 208 mnemonics. Um, just kind of show you one of them. This is what they look like. Uh, so it gives you a brief description and then it gives you the mnemonic and just <clears throat> an easy way to remember it. For example, dialysis. Um, let's go to uh, how about appendicitis assessment? And then it gives you the new uh, gives you a description of it. And then it gives you the mnemonic, which this one is pains, and then it gives breaks it out for you. So you'll get this book for free. Um, thank you so much. Um, you'll get this book for free if you start a new trial. And right now the trial is actually free. So you get this book completely free. Um, if you are interested, just go ahead and click the link um, or go to nursing.com and choose uh, the membership you're interested in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's study some cardiac. Uh, let me share my screen here with you guys. So we are inside of nursing.com. Uh, so what do you do when you first get in here? Again, like I said in the beginning, you um, can actually use this uh, for any um, anything that you're, this system for anything that you're um, studying. Um, so today we're going to focus on cardiac, but again, feel free if you are, just, if you want in the chat, you can throw in there what area you're studying, what nursing category you're studying right now. Um, and I'll point it out for you guys. Um, I am a med student and learned a lot from this platform. Lots of love and respect. Thank you so much. Uh, so much. Uh, Ms. Davis, I don't know what question you have, but you do have a question mark. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you can do, there's a couple of ways that you can get going uh, when you're starting to study cardiac. The first way, uh, it's a video I did last week, and that is creating a study plan. So you take your course syllabi and like go in to the study plan tab and create a study plan with all of the lectures that you're going to be going over. Med surge and nursing. Awesome. ICU cardiac. Great. So this will be lots of cardiacs coming in. So this will be awesome. You guys just hang on to this and um, you guys can do this later on for yourselves. Uh, so you can create a study plan and that's just taking your syllabi and putting the lessons in there that you're going over in class. Like I said last week, I like to break it up by, um, by test or exam that you have coming up and put each topic in the study plan. But today I'm going to show you something a little different. Uh, so just if you want to come into the course tab right here and from the course tab, we are just going to go down to the cardiac course in here. So it's broken up by med surge. So you just want to go to the med surge uh, course. And then from here, you can just, you can skim through and it's broken up by module. So the first module is going to be cardiac anatomy. The second module, acute coronary syndrome and so on and so forth. So it doesn't matter really necessarily where you start. You can click on any lesson. Let's just go ahead and click on cardiac AMP module. And then from here, now you can just go ahead and watch all of the lessons. Um, so this is just the intro. Um, so there's not really going to be any study tools. But now, like I said, you don't have to go back to the course plan. You can um, just select the next lesson from here. So click the module that you want. So if your, your exam's over cardiac anatomy, just go ahead and hit that module and it'll pop down with all the different lessons. 
So let's go ahead and do the first lesson because we have the intro. Let's go ahead and do the first lesson, cardiac anatomy. So now just go ahead and watch the lessons. I suggest there's two things that you can do when you first get into a lesson. You can just come in here and take the lesson quiz right off, or you can go ahead and start by watching the lesson. So you can start by watching the lesson. Right, the heart house, right? The water pump. The house this is, is Brad Bass. I don't know if any of you guys know. For, for providing fresh water to all of the sinks and toilets Him, and but he's great. Uh, so this Brad Bass is teaching this lesson. Um, and then if you come down after you watch the video, um, you can go ahead and take the lesson quiz. It's going to give you your questions. And then after you complete uh, the quiz, it'll give you the rationales. OK, so this one has 10 questions. Um, and then I'll give you the rationales. Now you have to score 80% or above on the quiz in order to master this lesson. All right. So if you don't score that, then you know that you need to study some more on this specific lesson. So now let's go ahead and let's say we did not pass this quiz with 80%. So now let's go ahead and utilize some of these study tools. So the first study tool that you can see here is a mnemonic. And actually, remember, you can get a free mnemonic book if you sign up for a nursing.com membership. Um, it's free trial right now. So that answers your question right now. Uh, right now, you can jump in for free for three days, get it, uh, check it out. And then if you're a US resident, we will ship you a book. All right, so you can check out the mnemonic, the cheat sheets, all the cheat sheets in here you can actually download. I always suggest downloading these and taking notes. Um, this one's actually pretty cool because it's a fill in the blank. So as you're watching the lesson, you can go ahead and fill in the blank um, as you go. So we just reviewed all of the study tools. Um, and then you can read the outline if you want. But the outline is just going over the video. Now let's go ahead and take the quiz again. So. We'll take the quiz. Yay, this time we scored an 80%. So we're going to master this. And now we can go ahead and move on to the next lesson, which is going to be coronary circulation. Because remember, our exam's over cardiac anatomy. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Watch the lessons. Um, this valve opens. It's circulation break. They might be susceptible. Watch the lesson. Um, take the quiz. When you master it by 80%, then you can go ahead and um, what's this live stream consist of? I'm just going over, um, we're studying for cardiac anatomy. Um, I'm showing you how you can use nursing.com to study for a cardiac exam. So this is just how you would do it. Um, all right, again, go ahead and use the study tools. All right, so we did all of the lessons. Um, but before we take our exam, we want to make sure that we really understand this material, right? So let's go ahead and come up to the practice questions. And inside of here, we're going to create a quiz specific to our cardiac exam, all right? So we're going to leave it on student NCLEX prep. We're going to leave the quiz length. We're going to deselect all categories, but just select um, the cardiac. So we selected cardiac. Uh, you're welcome, Susan. Um, nursing cate NCLEX categories, I suggest leaving um, all of the NCLEX categories selected. All right. That way you can get a multiple. And it's just good practice for when you take your NCLEX. Uh, question type, if you want to just do SATA questions, you can. Alternate format, multiple choice, or just do all. Any difficulty, I would just leave it on any. Uh, but if you are in your first semester, you can do easy, medium, hard, uh, depending on that. All right. So now let's go ahead and take our quiz. All right. Let's just go ahead and select any answer. So we read the question. We answered it. Now we're going to spend some time on these rationales. All right. You can read it. And the best part is you can actually watch the uh, lesson from within the question. All right, so after we've completed our quiz, we're going to come up here and we're going to review it again. Uh, we're going to make sure we understand the material. We understand why we got it wrong, why we got it uh, right. If you got it wrong, uh, 
is it because you are struggling the question type with meaning um, SATA questions, um, that type of thing. So if you really notice a pattern that you're struggling with the SATA questions, um, I suggest coming in here to the course tab and coming down to the little hidden gem inside of here, the test taking for nurses. Um, and then inside here, it's going to break it up into test taking strategies and it's going to give you lessons on those different types of NCLEX categories. So if you're noticing a pattern inside of your test and on your exams that you're struggling with a certain type of question, come in here to the test taking course and, uh, and do these lessons right here. That, that these will really be beneficial for you. But if it's the content that you're struggling with, then again, come back to the courses and review the lessons again. All right. So that was super quick overview of how you can study with nursing.com for your cardiac exam. Uh, like I said, you can do this for any exam that you have coming up. Um, I saw somebody put in their EKG, so you can come in here and do that for your EKG exam. And again, I'm showing you today the way that you can just come in here to the courses and start studying. I did a video last week on creating a specific study plan. So you can come in here with your uh, class syllabi and create a specific study plan for your exam. So you just come in here to create study plan. You can use this search box here and this will, um, this you, you'll type out specific lessons. So say you have your exam over um, angina. So you just type in angina. And all the different lessons inside of nursing.com will pop up. You see there's 47. So that's why I always say to make this search a little bit more uh, narrow and not so broad. So then coming in here and selecting the cardiac course. So you can create the study plans if you have time. If you want to sit down and take five minutes and do that, you can. It can. It will save you more time in uh, the sense where you can just come in here uh, when you're ready to study come to your dashboard. Sorry, it's a little slow since I'm live streaming. Come to your dashboard and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see all your study plans. So when you're ready to study, instead of going to the course tab, you can come to these specific study plans and just pick up where you left off. So you just click on lessons, pick right uh, up right where you left off, and you can go ahead and start studying that way. All right, so that was super quick. Um, I hope this helped you guys with your exams coming up and how to use uh, nursing.com. Um, tell me how many of you guys have watched a video this week um, or we're needing to search. Um, how many of you guys have watched a video on nursing.com this week, taken a lesson quiz? Um, would love to see that if you aren't a member of nursing.com but you want to give it a try the next couple of days is the perfect time to try it because it's free for three days and you also if you're a u.s residents you also get one of the nursing mnemonics books it's 208 nursing mnemonics and uh like i said it's just it tells you the topic and then it gives you a brief description then the mnemonic and then breaks it up so you guys can um can really see it for yourselves. Um, so do you guys have any questions? I'll kind of give you a second to throw it in there. Um, so the other cool thing about this is if you say you have to go to pick up your kid from school or anything like that, uh, when you log back in, you can actually start watching uh, the lesson that you left off on. So you just come in here, hit play, and you're ready to go. So that's something pretty cool. Uh, so you don't have to like, oh my gosh, wait, I have to um, to try this out or whatever. Uh, Richard, yes, it is free for the next three days. Uh, just go to nursing.com and then select which uh, where you're at in your nursing journey. Are you looking for NCLEX prep? Or are you just needing... Um, just the lessons and stuff. You're not needing the NCLEX prep. Choose that, and then um, you're you're good to go.
so yeah, so you can try it for out for three days, see if you like it, if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, but if you do sign up, then um, head over there because uh, after you sign up on the thank you page, there'll be a little place where you can, um, you have to click on the link to take you to get the free book if you are a U.S. resident. Unfortunately, we can't ship outside the U.S., but that's another story. Um, so that's something pretty cool. Does anybody else have any questions? I'll kind of wait. You're welcome, Richard. Um, so again, inside of the dashboard, uh, you can see all the lessons that you did. If you have the NCLEX prep, you can see the NCLEX prep. Maybe another day I'll go over how to prep for the NCLEX or the exit HESI. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, and then it'll give you just a question of the day. Some people really like this. You can just take a question of the day, see how you're doing. Um, and then this study plans. Uh, so honestly, I strongly suggest if you are um, going to try this out, what I suggest doing is taking your class syllabi. It does really save you guys time. You take the class syllabi and, and you create a study plan right off the bat. Um, that way you can come in here and just start, start studying, honestly. All right. It doesn't look like anybody has any questions, but if you guys are interested and you decide to check out nursing.com, uh, do so before Thursday so you can try it for free. Um, actually, any plan you can try for free, either the monthly or the two-year. Um, and the two-year comes with the NCLEX prep. You can try it for free. And you'll also get a free nursing mnemonics book. This one, this isn't what it will look like. This is, I only had an old one here at my house. So it has our old logo on it. NRSNG. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. But it's going to have 208 nursing mnemonics, and you'll be able to get this book for free if you sign up today. Just signed up recently. How can I get the book? Uh, Marlena, um, email our support, and they'll be able to help you out. And thank you for the information. You're, rec you're welcome, Domi. Domi? I don't know if I said that right. I very much apologize. I did not. Um, <clears throat> All right, you guys, uh, have a great rest of your week and uh, reach out if you have any questions. Um, and go out and be your best selves and happy nursing. Bye, guys.